Hey, Pastor Julian here with Central's Devotion for today. Here I am sitting here on Thursday, February 18th, 2021, and we are having yet another snow day. It's snowing, it's sleeting, the church office is closed, uh, I, I know a number of grocery stores that are closing early, the schools are closed, my kids are home doing virtual schoolwork. Uh, my wife is home. My dog is home. It's a bit chaotic, and it can be a bit stressful to be able to uh, to work and do things in this type of environment where everybody is all together on top of each other. And it's kind of been this way um, uh, on and off all throughout this pandemic. But the snow has really forced us together even more. Well, I'll tell you, I have it really well. And you have it really well right now as compared to our neighbors in Texas. I don't know if you've seen what's going on in Texas, but it is very bad. It is very bad. They're not used to getting uh, freezing temperatures there, and they have had prolonged freezing temperatures, uh, even temperatures uh, below 10 degrees, close to below zero. They've had snow. And this has gone on for a while, and and it has caused some serious issues with their with their power system. See, they have a power grid, and they depend on natural gas, and um, they're using more energy than they're used to using. And so, millions of people are without power right now in Texas, and they've been without power for days. For days. And we might think, well, it's just got to be really cold. You just tuck yourself under a blanket. Um, but here are some of the things that are going on. When you have freezing temperatures for that long, um, pipes begin to freeze. And they're saying that, um, that that almost every place in Texas has a burst pipe. I mean, there I've seen videos of, of people's houses flooded, apartment buildings just just cascading like a fountain. Um, no way to stop this water because there's no way to, to warm up the pipes or to heat anything up. And it's and it's destroying people's uh, homes. It's destroying everything that people have. And it and it's and it's uh, and it's displacing them. They there are people without homes now in Texas. Not just that, farmers are losing all of their livestock. The the ponds are frozen over. Any source of water is frozen over. Animals are walking out onto the ponds to try and get some water falling in. It's it's a disaster. And then I see the hospitals. The hospitals that, that have burst pipes that are on power generators that are insufficient. Um, and the suffering that's going on there. Texas is in really, really bad shape. And I know some people might want to make fun of Texas because Texas has this reputation of being tough as nails, uh, as being independent. We're the, the Lone Star State. Um, and even their power system uh, and not being able to get power from other states is a, is a symptom of their independence because their power grid is not attached uh, to the power grids of the rest of the country. Most of the country has their power all connected together. Texas does not. They have theirs independent. And so there's no way for uh, other states to send them energy. And, and, they're, and they're sitting there without power. And, uh, and there's a lot of suffering going on. We're talking about elderly. We're talking about families with children. We're the, the Lone Star State, Texas, needs our prayers and they need our comfort. And so I come to you today with 2 Corinthians chapter 1, or sorry, yes, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 to 7. And I want to share this with you. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, 3 to 7, this is what it says. Blessed be the God of and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction 
with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. If we are afflicted, it is for your comfort and salvation. And if we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in our comfort. Right now, seeing what people are going through in Texas, I encourage you to just share in their sufferings. Empathize with what they are going through and pray for them. Pray for them. Pray that God's mercy will be upon them and that, uh, and that they will regain their homes, regain power, regain heat, that the damage will be mitigated and that uh, the death tolls will be uh, softened and pray that, uh, that that they protect the children, they're able to protect the vulnerable, the elderly, and, uh, and that God is with them in a powerful way through that suffering that they're going, going through right now. Pray for their comfort in the midst of this suffering as we suffer with them. God bless you, and have a great day.